Welcome class sa 5th lesson natin sa Earth Science. In this video, I will talk about mineral resources, some terminologies related to it, and then discuss the stages of the mining process. The use of mineral resources will always lead you back to the start of human civilizations. Sinasabi na ang simula pa lang ng panahon ng bato, humans learned how to use minerals for their daily lives. These pictures show some materials made up of a mineral na ginamit ng mga Pilipino bago pa man ang pagdating ng mga Kastila. In the modern times, malaki ang dependence ng mga tao sa paggamit ng mga mineral resources. Ito ay ginamit natin for construction, uh, daily life natin sa bahay at offices, at halo sa lahat ng gamit at lugar na gawa ng tao. Um, sa isang object nga katulad ng cellphone, different, different minerals are present. These are some of the minerals that you can see or find in the phone. Of course, maraming uri pa ng minerals ang need para makabuo lang ng isang cellphone. So, ano nga ba ang mineral resources? Mineral resources is defined as a volume of rock enriched by one or more useful materials. Take note that when we talk about mineral resources, hindi lang minerals ang mismong pinag-uusapan natin. Kasama na dito ang rocks. Uh, so, yes, mineral resources could either refer to a mineral or a rock. Terms related to mineral resources. So, meron tatlong terms na related sa mineral resources. Mineral occurrence, mineral deposit, and ore deposit. If we define mineral resources, it is said to be uh, a concentration of a mineral that is of scientific or technical interest. In a simple way, if a mineral resource is present, uh, then we can say na meron mineral occurrence, whether kikita ang mining companies dito o hindi. Mineral deposit naman refers to mineral occurrence of sufficient size and grade or concentration uh, that can enable extraction under the favorable conditions. Mineral deposit means that the mineral occurrence is greater. However, it may not be enough for mining corporations to mine. Dahil malaki ang risk na malugi sila if hindi naging favorable ang condition as they operate the mine. On the other hand, or the or deposit naman refers to mineral deposit that has been tested, tested and known to be economically profitable. With this, even magkaroon ng hindrance or challenges as the, cor the corporation operates the mine. Kikita pa rin siya pag minina niya ang isang ore deposit. To explain it further, we can say that both mineral deposit and ore deposit ay sakop ng mineral occurrence. Sa madaling sabi, parehas may mineral resources sa lugar nila. Then, they are mineral occurrence. Then, or deposit could be a mineral deposit. But not all mineral deposits are ore deposits. Kasi di naman lahat ng mineral deposit ay merong favorable condition para mag-lead sa pagmimina. So, take note, kapag economically may value ang isang deposit, then we can say na ito ay isang ore deposit at ito ang pagtutuunan ng mining corporations. Now, let us go to the stages of mining process. But before we go there, first, define muna natin kung ano yung mining. Mining is the process of extracting mineral resources from the surface of the earth. May iba't ibang uri ng mining, pero yun ay i-discuss natin sa next video lesson. Focus muna tayo dito sa stages of the mining process. So, I want you to take note na hindi pwedeng padalos-dalos kapag nagtatayo ng minahan ang isang corporation. May mga steps silang sinusunod to ensure that they will profit, they will lessen the exploitation of the environment, and then they can rehabilitate the mine site. So, isa-isahin natin yung mga steps na yun. First step is exploration. In this step, mining corporation asks the help 
of experts such as geologists and mining engineers to search for areas that contain mineral resources viable for mining. Exploration includes three steps. The three steps are prospecting, drilling, and modeling of the ore deposit. Sa prospecting, nag-start siya sa pag-collect ng data. This may include interviews from local or locals uh, to check kung may nakita silang mineral sa isang lugar. This may also include looking on the history of the site. Once they have enough data to say that there is mineral deposit in the area, then they can go to the next step, which is the evaluation of the land's geology. They will check the terrain, titignan kung may hazards ba dito na magdadagdag sa challenges sa pagmimina. They will also check the environmental condition of the area, including the groundwater. This will be their baseline data and will help them with the process of mining. Prospecting also involves checking the chemical properties of the soil and water. This will help them to see kung merong bang traces of minerals sa area, believing that weathering and erosion in the past carried these minerals from the ground to the surface and even sa bodies of water near the area. Then, they can also deploy airborne and ground survey to check kung magre ba sa electrical current and magnetic waves ang areas. Uh, somehow, mahahalin tulad natin ang surveys na ito sa pag-undergo ng x-ray. Uh, with the use of different equipments, they can identify the extent of the mineral deposit. Nabivisualize natin yung mineral deposit sa ilalim ng lupa with the use of these surveys. After prospecting is drilling. Uh, this involves the use of diamond drill to collect core samples from the area. With this, geologists will have the chance to examine the type and grade of minerals in the ground. Last under exploration is modeling. With modeling, experts will use the collected data from various surveys and then they will combine it with the data mula dun sa core drilling to create a map that will show the location of the different ores with the different grades or different concentration present in the area. There. Development and design. Once exploration confirmed the presence of ore deposits in the area, then different studies will be made to ensure that the environment will be safe, the company will gain from it, and the people will benefit from the mine during and even after the mining process. Process involves scoping, feasibility studies, and procurement of necessary facilities. Sa scoping, ginagawa ng mining corporation ang pag-identify ng scope ng kanilang operation. Uh, Ia-identify nila kung pagmamine lang ba ang gagawin nila or they can process the ore, remove the unwanted materials, and then extract the needed resource. Sa feasibility study naman, they will identify the resources that they will need to operate the mine. They will also check for possible companies that will buy the minerals from them. And lastly, uh, is the procurement of facilities and equipment for the mine. This includes materials needed for offices of the administration, living quarters for the miners, plus the heavy equipments na typical na nakikita natin sa isang minahan. After design and development is construction. This involves building access roads, facilities, environmental management systems, and facilities for the employees. Take note that mining is about to start after the building of these facilities. Then, number four is production. This is where the actual mining of mineral happens. Aside from taking the minerals from the surface of the earth, dito din nagaganap ang pagpoproseso sa minerals. Take note na ang minerals ay nakahalo sa unwanted materials during mining. And for it to be useful, we need to separate it from unwanted materials. Need natin itong i-process, which may involve mixing chemicals or letting the ore run into different machines.
uh, this picture shows a gold ore. So we can see that the mineral is attached with unwanted materials called as gang. In the production, we are separating these minerals from gang with the use of different processes. Depende kung ano ang properties ng minerals. We will discuss this process sa second part ng video lesson na ito. Last is the closure and reclamation. Once the mining corporation have extracted all the ore present in the mine, then they will start the closure and reclamation of the site. They want to somehow return the land to its original state during this process. Merong ibang mining companies that do this step along with production. Once they have exploited the minerals in a portion of the mine, then they will start to close it and reclaim it as they move to the next portion. The following are the goals of closure and reclamation. They want to ensure that the chemicals used will not affect public health and safety. They want to minimize environmental effects kasama ng pag-remove ng waste materials and hazardous materials, um, pag-preserve ng water quality, pag-stabilize ng land, at pagbuo ng new landforms. So these are the steps done by responsible mining companies. Take note na although there are a lot of people who are against mining, we cannot de deny the fact that key humans have great dependence to the products produced by mining companies. So that's the end of this video lesson. Make sure to watch the second part of this for the discussion of different mining techniques and or processing. Thank you.